I, I'm just telling you, the culture at Marvel was changing. They didn't like how how popular it would become. I mean, it's, it's the easiest way. I can dance around it, but the bottom line was the sales were following Todd, Rob, and Jim, and the other guys. And uh, they didn't. They, they were now. I think they thought the gimmick sold covers, so a glow-in-the-dark Ghost Rider and an acetate, you know, uh, Power Man with an animation cell. That's uh, those fell flat. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't do like high sales. And, I, and I'm because I think Marvel was like, it's our gimmicks that are selling these. We put five X Force covers out, and we put five Spider-Man covers out, and we put eight X-Men covers out. It's us. It's not you. It was us. And you know, I think what happened. In 91, dic has dictated the last 20 years of Marvel Comics and how artists, you don't get to tell us jack anymore. It's a writer-driven TV room concept where we build a corporate strategy and therefore really nobody gets to take a bow. Marvel takes the bow. I tell people all the time, Marvel has turned into a company that wants you to, to think that you press a button. There's a Marvel button in a room where you go, and a character comes out. Marvel made it. It's the Marvel button. And uh, it's like... It, that's really kind of like, they, they don't ever say Rob Liefeld created Deadpool. I got to tell people Rob Liefeld created Deadpool. They want you to believe that there was a button in a room that you hit and Deadpool spit out and cable spit out, you know, and, uh, and they don't really do a lot of new stuff.